This is the Rafa Nadal Academy and it is located in Manacor, Spain. Manacor is located in Mallorca, which is an island to the southeast of mainland Spain. I recently went here for a six day tennis trip by myself. And as many of you have been asking, let's actually take a look at how much this actually costs. But before we watch the breakdown, hit like, hit subscribe, and the notification bell for more original tennis content. The Nadal Academy program went from Monday, May 8th through Saturday morning, May 13th. I will leave a link to that travel log in this corner if you haven't checked it out already. I will break down this cost into three parts. The initial expenses, like the program costs, hotel, and the flight. The variable expenses, like food and drink. And the expenses specific to me on this trip. I will state these finances in euros, but keep in mind that the US dollars to euro conversion is 1.08. I will also have chapters in this video if you want to skip around. And at the end, I want to give pointers for people that want to save money if they want to visit the Nadal Academy. Let's get started. The hotel cost for seven days at the Nadal Academy is 1290 euros for the simplest single room. So this equates to about 185 euro a day. The hotel price also includes free breakfast, gym access, and spa access. This hotel cost might seem somewhat expensive for most people, but it offsets the modest price of 950 euros of the total Tennis Plus package. Keep in mind that this is a six day program, Monday through Saturday morning. So that is 11 two hour sessions with world-class tennis facilities. To break it down even further, that equates to 86 euros per hour on court. This price also includes a 50 minute session with a physio. Highly recommended you go to that by the way. The flight from O'Hare to Mallorca was 300 euro round trip. That's right, you heard me, correct. The price for my flight was only 300 euro. Why you might ask? Well, it's because the Nadal Academy has a deal where if you are from the US, the Academy gives you a 1200 euro voucher to Iberia Airlines. Iberia is specific to Europe. I believe it's Maine out of Spain. So although my flight was initially 1500 euro round trip, it was actually significantly lower. The Uber from my parents' house to O'Hare Airport was 60 euro, and the taxi from La Palma Airport to the Rafa Nadal Academy, which is about 40 minutes, was 80 euro. So the total initial expense is 2,680 euro. Now, let's talk about variable expenses. This is a short one because there's only food and drink in this category. I spent about 311 euro in food and drinks. The food quality was good, but in my opinion, the local food outside of the academy is a much better experience for tourists slash Americans like me. And it also slightly is lower price outside the academy uh, per portion, but I'm still grateful nonetheless. So the total expenses is 311 euro for variables. Now, let's talk about the expenses <laughs> specific to me, which could technically fall under variable expenses, but I decided to have its own category anyway. I had to spend 20 euro on another physio session because I busted my calf Friday morning. Don't worry, I'm fine now. I spent six euro on a swim cap to use the spa. I also spent 40 euro at a market for necessary things I forgot like at home, like a toothbrush, toothpaste, and a bottle of gin. Another 600 euro for gifts for family and friends. Chris, no souvenir for you. And another 600 euro on gifts specifically on myself. The ones that I bought for myself are specifically Nadal Academy clothes, really high quality stuff. And one of the most expensive ones here is that I crashed my drone on the last day of the trip because I was trying to get this indoor footage. Feature mark here. Um, this is what my drone actually looks like right now. Uh, the one that crashed when I was uh, trying to get that footage on the last day at the Doll Academy. Um, it's a little bit busted. Um, it's out of commission. The camera covers off. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of the internal motors um, are messed up. The wings are clipped um, and just a lot of mechanical and screws that are just like not functioning. So had to buy another one, the same model, DJI Mini Pro 3 fantastic 
about 600 euros, around 700, 750 bucks. So I had to buy that right away as soon as I got home because I love droning. Now, back to the video. Don't do that, by the way. That cost me another 600 to replace. And lastly, I spent about 700 euro between Porto Cristo, which is where Nadal currently resides, and La Palma on food, drinks, and more clothes. I also had to pay a $15 and 40 euro tourist tax at the academy, which equates to $2 and 20 euro per day. So the total expenses specific to me is 2,581.4 euro. This does not include the opportunity cost of missing work for a week. And I'm not gonna display it here, but if you guys are really curious, you can look it up on Glassdoor or some other website. I'm a senior software engineer in the Milwaukee area. Three weeks removed and looking at the receipts, I would suggest that you guys do the following. Rent a car at La Palma and rent a house near the academy. Because the biggest expense by far is the hotel cost. You can severely cut down on this by doing your own research about housing and groceries in the area. Even if you do this route, where you do an Airbnb or rent a house for a week or two, you can still experience the absolutely amazing facilities and coaching at the Rafa Nadal Academy and make some friends along the way. If I was a bit more disciplined in eating and drinking and did this route, I think I could cut it down to 1,500 euro total, which is a fraction of what I actually spent. So the total cost of this trip for me was 5,572.4 euro, not including opportunity costs. And I will say it was absolutely worth it. Keep in mind, I am an absolute tennis fanatic and I've never been to Europe before. And I made some new friends along the way. So shout out to Federico, Claudia, Victor, Tim, Jacques, and Bryce. And to be honest, I don't think I could have had a better introduction to España. Well, what do you guys think? Leave a comment down in the section below, or better yet, let's talk about tennis on my Discord. Link down in the description as well. And as always, guys, happy hitting. <laughs>